Tra-la-la! Chapter 12 Out the Window George and Harold dashed to the window and looked out. There, running across the parking lot, was a pudgy old guy in his underwear with a red cape flowing behind him. Mr. Crop! Come back! shouted Harold. He won't answer to that, said George. He thinks he's Captain Underpants now. Oh, no, said Harold. He's probably running off to fight crime, said George. Oh, no, said Harold. And we gotta stop him, said George. Oh, no, cried Harold. No way! Look, said George. He could get killed out there. Harold was unmoved. Or worse, said George, we could get into big trouble. You're right, said Harold. We gotta go after him. The two boys opened the bottom file cabinet drawer and took out their slingshots and skateboards. Do you think we should bring anything else? asked Harold. Yeah, said George. Let's bring the fake doggy doo-doo. Good thinking, said Harold. You just never know when fake doggy doo-doo is going to come in handy. <laughs> Harold stuffed Mr. Krupp's clothes, shoes, and toupee into his backpack. Then together, the two boys leaped out the window, slid down the flagpole, and took off on their skateboards after the amazing Captain Underpants. Chapter 13 Bank Robbers George and Harold rode their skateboards all over town looking for Captain Underpants. I can't find him anywhere, said Harold. You'd think a guy like him would be easy to spot, said George. Then the boys turned a corner, and there he was. Captain Underpants was standing in front of a bank, looking quite heroic. Mr. Crop! cried Harold. Shh, 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 said George. Don't call him that. Call him Captain Underpants. Oh, oh yeah, said Harold. And don't forget to snap your fingers, said George. Right, said Harold. But before he got a chance, the bank doors flew wide open, and out stepped two robbers. The robbers took one look at Captain Underpants and stopped dead in their tracks. Surrender, said Captain Underpants, or I will have to resort to wedgie power. Oh, no, whispered Harold and George. <laughs> Nobody moved for about ten seconds. Finally, the robbers looked at each other and burst out laughing. They dropped their loot and fell to the sidewalk screaming in hysterics.
Almost immediately, the cop showed up and arrested the crooks. Let that be a lesson to you, cried Captain Underpants. Never underestimate the power of underwear. The police chief, looking quite angry, marched over to Captain Underpants. And just who the heck are you supposed to be? The police chief demanded. Why, I'm Captain Underpants, the world's greatest superhero, said Captain Underpants. I fight for truth, justice, and all that is pre-shrunk and cottony. Oh, yeah? shouted the police chief. Cuff him, boys. One of the cops took out his handcuffs and grabbed Captain Underpants by the arm. Uh-oh, cried George. We got a roll. Together, the two boys zoomed into the crowd, weaving in and out of cops and bystanders. Harold skated up to Captain Underpants and knocked the superhero off his feet. George caught him, and the boys skated away with Captain Underpants on their shoulders. Stop! cried the cops, but it was too late. George, Harold, and Captain Underpants were gone. Chapter 14. The Big Bang After their quick escape, George, Harold, and Captain Underpants stopped on a deserted street corner to catch their breath. Okay, said George. Let's, let's dehypnotize him quick before something else happens. A huge explosion came from the rare crystal shop across the street. Heavy smoke poured out of the building. Suddenly, two robots with one stolen crystal emerged from the smoke and jumped into an old van. Did I just see two robots getting into a van? Asked Harold. You know, said George. Up until now, this story was almost believable. Well, believable or not, said Harold, we are not getting involved. I repeat, we are not getting involved. Just then, Captain Underpants leaped from the street corner and dashed in front of the van. Stop! In the name of underwear! He cried. Uh-oh, said George. I think we're involved. The two robots started up the van and swerved around Captain Underpants. Unfortunately, the van brushed up against his red cape and it got caught. With a mighty jerk, Captain Underpants flipped backward and the van pulled him along as it drove away. Grab him! cried George. The two boys skateboarded with all their might toward the speeding van and grabbed Captain Underpants by the ankles. Help! They cried as the van pulled them through the city streets. M Mommy? said a little boy sitting on a bench. I just saw uh, two robots uh, driving a van with a guy in his underwear hanging off the back by a red cape, pulling two boys on skateboards behind him with his feet. <laughs> How do you expect me to believe such a ridiculous story? asked his mother. Finally, the van came to a screeching halt in front of an old abandoned warehouse. The sudden stop made Captain Underpants flip over the roof of the van and crash through the front door of the building. Well, 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 said a strange voice from inside the warehouse. It looks as if we have a visitor. Tra-la-la! Don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up for new app demos every single day.